Philip wanted to own a cozy, snowy cabin during winter. So today, I'm going to build one for one of my subscribers. So this is Fee. She has all the game passes and a budget of 200k. And if you guys would like for me to potentially build one of you guys a Bloxburg house, literally all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Alright, so let's hop in build mode and get this cabin started. I just want something warm and cozy without it looking like a horror movie. You know? So I'm thinking, what if we done something that's like surrounded by a lake? Except lakes are like super, super expensive. So maybe instead of like a lake, we're gonna have a massive ice rink around this entire place. To be honest, babes, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping for the best. See, a little ice. And obviously I want this cabin to be like two stories tall, but I don't want it to be super big. I'm thinking a custom roof up the top here. Oxburg still hasn't added hollow roofs yet. So we're gonna have to do this the good old basic Shapeway, aka adding a bunch of what is she doing? Looks like someone's testing out my motorbike. Man, I'm finna whip this hole. Day Bloxburg actually releases hollow roofs in Bloxburg. I think I will actually cry. Like, I'll also be super mad though because I've spent so much time. I'm done. Cut the show. I'm done. I haven't built a triangular roof in like a hot minute. I don't know if I'm even capable of doing this nowadays. Can I just like copy this and add it on the other side? That would probably be the smart option, right? What am I, stupid? The roof has no right being that big. Why is it so big? Maybe if I go like this and then I bring it down like one more and then I copy it and then I add it to the other side. Does that work? Kind of. We just have to make this smaller. Do you guys remember the days where I was like, oh my God, I love the transform tool. I hate it now. I don't want to, I don't want to look at this thing anymore than I have to right now. I just want to get this roof done and I'm not touching the transform tool for the rest of this video. <laughs> He just said, Alaska, do you need help with the roof? Stop, this is embarrassing. I just realized there's someone watching me. Uh, I'll try to be less careless. I'm watching you, Alaska. Guys, I promise I know how to build, okay? See, look at that, custom roof. So now I'm just gonna copy the same thing and then add it on these two sections. Now we just have to do the transparent roof at the top, AKA the little uh, windows. And luckily for us, Locksburg finally added, they added a pyramid. If this works, I can just like use a triangle. It doesn't fit. Are you joking? You're joking. Fine, what about horizontal wedges? See, doing custom roofs in Bloxburg, it's difficult at first, but then once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy. I'm so angry! And I also want a balcony that goes around this entire cabin so she can walk around the entire thing when she wants to. So on the side of the cabin, I also want to give her her own little garage. Okay, I know this entire cabin is made on top of ice, but we're also going to place it out of snow as well. We just need to make sure the snow is not inside of the house. That would be quite a problem indeed. See, it kind of works. All right, it kind of works. We're also going to surround the bottom bit of the cabin with some round wide pillars. Just so it looks like there's... Um, some structure to this house. Structurally accurate, if you will. So now for the fun bit, which is adding some windows. Yes, windows also going to be made out of wood. That is mahogany. You guys get where that's from? That is mahogany. Oh, mate. That is looking bloody beautiful. Although it's not really connected to the roof now, is it? So we're going to have to get like a standard square beam and outline this little roof section. Also, this roof is like so wonkly right now. Wonkly is not even a word. Why do I keep saying wonkly in my videos? That is so Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. Now, we're also going to have to do the same on this section as well. See, my problem with, like, winter cabins in Bloxburg is some of them are, like, way too big. I don't know about you guys, but I prefer to live in, like, small Bloxburg houses. Like, nice and small and nice and cozy. Okay, what is that? <laughs> Stop. This is why I can't talk and build at the same time. I end up like not focusing on what I'm doing and it just, it looks so stupid. My only problem with the roof, right, is whatever I color on the outside, it's gonna be the color on the inside. So for my plan to work, I'm gonna have to put another layer of basic shapes on top of this one. Also, I have to keep moving Samira's head because she, I'm gonna take a photo of her right now. Guys, look at this. She keeps falling asleep on my computer and I have to keep moving her head. Okie dokie, and now we just need a fence. I personally like the look of these log fences. You you know what we're gonna do? We're going to get some snow covered edges and place this on the top of the fence. Like when I said snowy cabin y'all, I, I meant snowy, snowy cabin. cabin. I mean as it's Christmas we'll also put some garlands on the fence. Where are the chimneys? I want to add a chimney on the top of the roof. Oh, we can't add a chimney on this roof because it's made out of basic shapes but you know what? We can add one here. Also where the heck is the entryway gonna be? Um, I'm thinking the side of the house which means the garage door is gonna have to go in here. I don't really know what I'm doing with the windows at the 
the bottom. I'm kind of just fluking it and hoping for the best. Okay, what if we break this up? We're adding standard windows at the bottom here. What just happened? I think I just broke the game. Um, hello? Oh, and now it's back to normal again. Um, okay. Oh, a nice big sunset window at the back of the garage. I don't know whose plot is over here, but these trees look so nice. Oh, damn, whose house is this? Don't be intimidated, Squidward. Okay, and one more thing I want to add to the outside is a fireplace. Like, one right here would look really nice. See, I mean, you cannot tell me that doesn't look so good right now. And you know what? I'm going to quickly add some, like, mountains here as well. <laughs> Oh my god, Alaska Violet adding architecture to her builds. Wow. My god, what the hell? Oh my god, punch mama in the throat, right? My daddy in the shit. My only problem though is I'm scared we're gonna run out of a budget. I'm literally just gonna buy like the cheapest trees. These $150 trees, you know what? We're gonna buy them. And then to spice it up, we'll also have a mixture of green trees. I don't remember adding Santa Claus up there. Oh, he's gone. Okay, I'm confused. For our driveway, we're literally just gonna use a carpet with some little candy canes lighting up the driveway. And for a finishing touch, colorful string lights on the roof. And have a few little reindeers at the front here. Okay, so the outside done. I think it's time to work on the inside of the cabin. All right, so here's the game plan. We've got garage in here, dining room, living room. I'm gonna break this section up here and it's gonna be the sauna or the bathroom. And then for this second floor, this is going to be a little bit uh, quirky, if you will. I think we're going to do something like this. Actually, no. First, we need the stairs. And for the stairs, I'm actually going to do custom stairs today. I know. Fancy, fancy. Here's the plan for the custom stairs, okay? We're literally just going to layer cubes on top of cubes. <laughs> So it'll end up looking something like this. And then to make it more accurate, we put a large round rod on both ends of the stairs. So then once we paint it and add some LED lights, it'll end up looking something like this. Okay, so what is going on with this floor plan up here? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> What's going on in there? All I know is that I want this section empty so we can have a two-story fireplace. Floor up here is going to look so questionable, but it'll be worth it. Will it? I actually don't know. Why is there a ghost running around? Can you see that? Okay. She asked me if she could have her friends on here and I'm like, um, girl, of course. Okay, sleek glass railing up the top here. This is such a weird layout for the bedroom, but... <laughs> okay, I want the feature wall to be made out of either slate or cobblestone. I feel like cobblestone's more of an outside texture. You know what? We're using slate. Okay, are you ready for this? Not one fireplace, but two fireplace. So then we just have to extend it all the way to the roof. And then we can have the TV right here. A nice long storage unit where we can place our TV remote and all of like the Christmas stuff call. I'm kind of jealous of this house. Now I wish I built it for me. Sophia, if you ever bulldoze this house, I think I'm going to cry. I think I've officially grown attached to this house. Now we're going to make the stocking Sophia's favorite color. Sage. Favorite color sage. Oh my god, twins. Well, in that case, we're going to make the stockings a nice sage color. He just said, Alaska, you flop. Half of the wall is colored in the garage. I'm getting there. I promise. I'm trying. I've only been doing this for two days. Okay, we can have a nice cozy rug right here. And then for the lounges, we're just going to use some sectional lounges. So I don't know how this is going to work because we don't really have much room in here. I think instead of a coffee table, we're going to have an ottoman instead. I love how this is not like a conventional living room. Like none of the lounges are facing the TV. <laughs> Okay, next up, Christmas pillows. Fee is definitely annoyed with how slow I'm building right now. I'm sorry, Fee, okay? I'm a slow builder, but I try my best. Okay, we can't forget some nice cozy blankets on these lounges. We can't really put anything on this ottoman, so on top of this, I might have like a cutting board. So then this way, Fee can have her coffee mug on top. Okay, that's kind of cute. Oh, we also need the Christmas tree. Okay, I'm thinking the Christmas tree can go right in the corner. So we can place that right there. And then underneath the tree, we'll put a train set. I don't really know how we're going to fit the kitchen back here. Didn't really think about that, did I? No. So maybe instead we can have the kitchen over here. So the fridge can be like as soon as you walk in. It's only be a tiny kitchen but like you know what that is the entire point ew i can just see me in the window staring why do i look so creepy today surprise shawty Okay, what should we use for this kitchen? You know, I'm thinking dark toupee. I actually don't even know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm saying it. We don't really have room for an island bench, so I'm not gonna add one today. I know, shocking. Okay, what does she have in her inventory? Oh, oh, she got a coffee machine. Yeah, I might steal that. Add that right here. What is an icy icicle? That looks like a murder weapon. Oh my god, can I add these at the bottom here? That looks 
They look terrifying. I have a new fear and they're called icicles. Like, why do they look so terrifying? And you know what? We'll add a dishwasher for once. I know. I like never use dishwashers. I don't even use a dishwasher in real life. Like, I'm not even kidding. I just hand wash all my dishes. I just don't trust a dishwasher to wash my dishes. I don't know what it is. I think that is it for the kitchen. So now we just have to add a lighting. We're going to keep the lighting in here very minimal because there is like so much light coming in through this house. I want majority of the lighting in here to be very natural. I mean, I guess we need a door that goes into the bathroom. Actually, you know what would look better? If this door was right here, so then underneath the stairs, we can have like a bookshelf. Okay, wait, no, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out. Let's, let's, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay, we're gonna stack these oak shelves underneath each of the stairs like this. And all we have to do to light this up is add some box cubes. And then, are you ready? Fill this entire thing with books. <laughs> Oh my god, if that doesn't scream cozy, I don't know what does. So over here is, um, I think we're gonna have the dining table. This would be the perfect area to add a round dining table. Just because, like, there's not much room in here. I think we're lucky to add, like, two chairs. Oh my gosh, if Fee doesn't love this house, I am. This is genuinely, like, the cutest little cabin. Oh, it also looks like Fee has added presents on my train station. Fee, you're collapsing the train station with the presents. Next room we have is the bedroom, which is upstairs. There's also a gap in the roof. Um, shh. See, there was, no, there was no gap there. It was all a part of your imagination. Honestly, I think the first thing we need is a chandelier right in the middle here. Did I just spend $5,000 on a chandelier? Maybe. Let's hope she doesn't notice. Oh, excuse me? So, nice chandelier up the top here. I just realized we actually don't have a way to get out into the balcony. So, I'm gonna get rid of one of these windows and add a door instead. This is honestly gonna be such a big bedroom. Like, I genuinely do not know why I made it so big. One thing we do have to do, though, is layer these blankets like crazy. Oh, you know what I feel like right now? I don't know if every McDonald's has this, but I feel like, I feel like a coffee frappe. Get in my belly! We don't really have much paintings up here now, do we? We also need the closet, which I think I'm gonna place... I think I might place the closet here. I mean, Fee is always welcome to change the house once it's done. Like, yeah, once I build you guys a house, if you guys don't like it, y'all can bulldoze it. Y'all can change the layout, the furniture. I do not mind. It is your house. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm definitely thinking two layers of clothes up here. Oh, and I guess we need like a room divider for some privacy. There we go. Got a little room divider. I think the last thing we're going to add in here is a little study desk. I feel like Fee is definitely smart. So we're going to have lots of books on her table. And then obviously a laptop just for fun. Instead of a typical office chair, we're going to have one of these humongous modern harpen chairs. For the balcony, we're just going to keep this very simple. We have a telescope in case we want to look out to the stars. And a rocking chair. Okay, so the two last rooms we have is the bathroom and the garage. And inside of the garage, we'll obviously need a, sh we'll obviously need a snow snub, sh a snow snub. <laughs> we'll obviously need a snow shovel. A snow, oh my God, snow shovel. We will need a snow shovel. Oh my Lord. We'll just place some metal shelving unit. Fill these with storage cubes and other garage junk. Garage is usually where people have like their Christmas ornaments, to be honest. Everyone just stores their Christmas decor in the garage. Speaking of um Christmas stuff, I decided that um yesterday would be a good idea for me to wrap all my presents. I tried to wrap something circular and if you follow me on Instagram, I posted about it and this is what it looked like, guys. <laughs> like I literally cannot even make that up. I'm so bad at wrapping presents. Ew. What an interesting artifact. Wait, what are dads have in their garage? We got like, I don't know, gas, maybe some tools, maybe some tools, a little toolbox. And I guess, you know what? That's, that's it for our garage. Oh my God. What's going on back here? Is Fee adding like a snow ski rink? Okay, fun. All right, lastly, we need the bathroom. I don't know why I decided to make it so small. Hashtag love suffering. Yay. It's fine. We can just have like a bath that's connected to the shower. Shelf at the back here so we can have all our bathroom supplies. What do you mean? I do not have enough room here. Oh, I don't know why the door is so far up from the floor right now, but we're going to have to have a basic shape here as a step. <laughs> and then voila, the winter wonderland cabin is complete. Fee, get out. It's done. The house is done. Oh, she just goes it ill. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Wait, why can't I come in? Did she block me? <gasps> he blocked me. Let me in. Let me in, please. Let me in, please. You, pick me up. <gasps> okay. Okay. I mean, it kind of worked. Um. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Wait, oh my god, I just got transported to the back rooms or something, y'all. What is happening? Okay, so I've joined back. The winter cabin is all complete, as you can tell from the outside. So now it is time to show Fee the inside, but she apparently has something to show me. The plot value is, drum roll please. $105,000. That wasn't me, guys. I love the outside of this, by the way. I love how it's like fully surrounded by a lake. What is this? Oh, okay. Apparently, while I was building the house, Fee built a, uh, a sled. Interesting. It's fun. Oh, okay. Let's test out this sled. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Ain't no way I just got trapped. Is that poo? Welcome to my crib. Not fee trapping me after I just built her a house. Okay, so this is the outside of the winter cabin. This over here is like the garage. I was gonna put a snow sled in here. Oh, kind of hitting the car. Sorry about that. There might be a few damages to your car. And then if we come through the side of the door, then this is how the inside turned out. Honestly, I really like it. I like the bookshelves on the custom staircase. I thought it was pretty nice. Alaska. Oh, oh my God. So cute. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad she likes it. This is the living room. You know what? I like the fact that the couches are facing each other, even though um the TV is this way. If you want to watch TV, we're going to have to do a whole 360 with our head. Back here, we have the dining table. To the left over here, we've got a small little bathroom. Room. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt something? Apparently so. Yeah, this is the kitchen over here. We've got our little Christmas tree. And then if we make our way up to our custom stir coast, we have Fee's bedroom with, of course, the TV that is currently showing the Polar Express. Okay, and then if we go out to the door here, we've got a balcony surrounding the entire cabin, which personally I think was a nice touch. So yeah, I hope Fee enjoys her new winter cabin home. I can't believe this was 200k though. I think without all like the Christmas decor, it would definitely be cheaper. Overall, I think it turned out pretty nicely. Okay. Okay, well, my job as Santa here is done. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.